This show is called Signed Venus. Put it on the record that if I were Val, I'd have the same reaction. I don't understand. She was so nice in Signed Venus. She was excited to take the writer out on her boat. She called herself Auntie. Well, it's been ten years, right? People change, I guess. She was so angry that we were even talking to her. Did I say something wrong? For now, let's leave the docks and go somewhere she won't see us. Okay, but Cameron... We can't go back to Coast Venus yet. We can't. I know. I wasn't going to say that. Um, Cameron? Huh? Is... Is that person pointing to us? Uh... The elderly one, by that stand. Oh, shh. Let's get out of here. No, they're waving now. I think they're telling us to come over. Don't they teach you on Coast Venus about stranger danger? It's not like they're going to kill us. And they're probably not going to yell at us for talking to them. Besides, I could use a distraction. You don't have any street smarts, Hayden. Nope. Let's go. I'm glad the two of you noticed me waving. I would have liked to call out, but unlike our dear friend Valeria's, My voice has never carried very far. Your dear friend, right. Uh, we aren't planning on staying long, we'll just... You can relax, young man. I'm not angry with you. My name is Nuri. I make jewelry here at the stand, often in the company of children. You made all the stuff you're wearing. Oh, no, not at all. Most of these are gifts, and I'll be trading some of it for others tomorrow. Indeed, these pieces have passed through many hands. Oh, that's right. The reason I wanted to talk with you was because I thought you may appreciate an explanation. You must understand, our Valeria is truly a kind person. She did not lash out from a place of malice. Oh, of course. Huh? There's an explanation. Please tell us. We really didn't mean to offend her. Well, you see. The people of Arabella, we are wounded and have been for many years. Long ago, something terrible happened here. We suffered a tremendous loss, a loss that we have not recovered from and possibly never will. I'm so sorry. Sentimentality is a virtue of ours. It is ingrained in our people, and so we do feel these losses heavily. It was the arrival of a newcomer that caused this pain, and many, like Valeria, have learned to be wary of those we don't know. That sounds horrible. Yeah. Can you tell us what happened? Hayden? What? Tell me, what brought you two to Arabella? It is not often that we receive visitors. They totally ignored me. Serves you right. Um... Well, I'm looking for someone here in Arabella, who was mentioned in my favourite series of all time. Arabella folk are all artisans of a sort here. Handicrafts, galleries, the food is incredible. And they share with each other like nowhere else I've ever seen. The person I bet I'll remember the most, though, is the one who was sitting by the window that day, in Bella Cafe. And that's how I knew that if we wanted to know about the writer, we had to talk to the person they met in Arabella. Ah, you're planning to go to Bella Cafe then? Absolutely. Actually, Nuri, could you tell us how to get there? 
They just told us they don't like new people. They said many, not all, right? I mean, Nuri, you don't seem to mind us. I agree with your friends that it would not be the wisest decision. Listen to the nice jewelry person, Hayden. But... But the most important person we have to meet was at Bella Cafe. I will give you the directions you ask for. You can make the choice for yourself. But, if you would like to know my opinion, I think it would be best that you leave Arabella. Thank you. First, you'll need to go up the mountain. Folks of Arabella tell me that if you want the best coffee around, you go to Bella Cafe. It's a quaint little shop, high up the mountain, with giant windows overlooking the sea. Even without its reputation, I would have gone just for the view, but I have to admit, at first, I was a skeptic. I mean, you get to the fourth round of asking people for coffee recommendations, and eventually you realize there's only one cafe in all of Arabella to start with. Once I've got a mead raw in my hands, it's easy to see why. Just talking pure aroma. I wouldn't dare compete with an obvious bona fide coffee connoisseur either. I ask the barista afterward for a sachet. If I drove a car, I'd hang it on my rearview mirror. It's living in my satchel for now. A prize souvenir if there ever was one. I'd send some back to all you folks at Coast Venus, but it'd make you cry to know you're never going to have a coffee that smells this good. And don't mistake the scent for false advertising. It tastes just as good as you think it's going to. I don't know what kind of witchcraft they're doing at Bella Cafe, but if you don't believe in the perfect cup of coffee, it's because you haven't had it. We're really doing this. If we don't meet that person here, then what was the point of even coming to Arabella? Uh, see the pretty water? And Nuri gave me this necklace. It wasn't all bad. Well, what about the most amazing cup of coffee you've ever had? Don't you want to try the best coffee in the entire world, Cameron? I'm pretty sure that's in Ethiopia. They invented it. Besides, everyone's always knocking franchise coffee. But you know what, Hayden? I can get Starbucks in Coast Venus and Santa Barbara, and it's the same great cup every time. Well, they don't have a Starbucks here, and Cameron, please... <sighs> Fine. Thank you. Why is it so quiet all of a sudden? Because they're going to ambush us. That's what Nuri was trying to tell us. It's lucky I've thought about this before. Here's the plan. They aren't going to ambush us. Fine. It works if only one person cooperates, too. I won't say I told you so when this goes wrong, but I'll tell it to you now. There's this whole lineup. The coffee must be amazing. Didn't the writer say there's only one coffee place in the whole town? Yeah, because no one else wants to compete. Yeah, sure. Maybe we should keep it down. This is your mug, dear. Uh... See? It was just a coincidence. No ambush. That was super long for a lull, though. I think... That is not a coincidence. It's fine. Do tell me how it goes after, yes? It's been so long since I've seen your mother in here. I'm sure such a thoughtful gift will cheer her right up. Oh, and here's your coffee, of course. Almost forgot, silly me. Okay, this is weird. Maybe everyone here's shy or something. In three minute intervals? Anyway, do you see the person we're supposed to be talking to? Oh, I don't actually know who they are. 
I'm hoping the barista will remember. The... The barista? It happened ten years ago. You'd remember who was in your shop the day a new person steps in, when you know literally everybody else in the... in the town. Hayden, it's your turn. Oh. Oh my gosh. Hello, what can I... <clears throat> um, hi. I'm Hayden, and this is Cameron, and we've heard so much about Bella Cafe, and are really excited to try the coffee here. Did you have to make it the most obvious ever that we're tourists? She could already tell. I see. Just FYI, that's a red flag. Visitors, of course. What can I get for you? Can I get a mead raff, please? Uh, what? I don't know. It's what the writer got. I thought you wanted coffee. It's just cold mead. It's not alcoholic, Cameron. Well, I'd hope not, because we talked about that. I think it has honey in it. Better. Still weird, though. A mead raff. Please have a seat while I prepare that for you. And what can I get for you? Oh, uh... A uh, cappuccino, please, with cinnamon on top. So you do want to try it? There's no Starbucks here. So, I was hoping you could help me with something, actually. Um, besides fixing me up with a great cup of coffee, of course. Hmm. So, um, about ten years ago, someone came here to Arabella from my town, Coast Venus. The thing is... Nobody actually knows who they are, so I can't describe them to you. But they said that they met someone here. Someone important. I drank the whole cup before I even wrote a word. Not because I didn't want to savor it, but because if it got cold while I was writing, I'd never forgive myself. These lucky bastards drink this stuff every day. The shopkeepers got pillows set up in the window instead of tables and chairs, so I'm practically brushing knees with the person beside me as they stare out at that beautiful horizon. They're a study in serenity. Cool breath of air basking in Arabella sun. They've got the look of a wanderer in their eyes like... Their thoughts are a sea they've been sailing since the dawn of time. If you think as soon as I put down my pen I won't try to buy them a coffee, you're kidding yourself. That's not a face you let pass on by, making stories about them up in your head. It's a face you'd better say hello to if you don't want to take your regrets to the grave. I'm hoping that I can meet that person, so I could ask them some questions about the writer. I'm afraid the person you wish to speak to isn't here. Oh yeah, I mean, I didn't think they'd be here right now. But I thought you might know who- The person who prepared your friend's coffee is dead. Antonia owned this shop before I did. She would have known who you're seeking. I wasn't here that day. Oh. We're sorry for your loss. Please, enjoy. At least we have the coffee. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Are you okay? Yeah, I'm, I'm totally, a hundred percent. Let me see that. No, really, Cameron, it, it's fine. And it's just honey in this? Yes, it's, yeah, honey, super sweet. Super, super, super sweet. You don't like it? Cameron, it's disgusting. I thought you were poisoned or lied to me. And I left my first aid kit on the bus. No, nope. Just awful coffee. Is there a problem? No, no, not at all. Um, great coffee, thanks. Cora, I heard Valeria. You too. New plan. Run! Are they bothering you, Cora? Oh no, of course not. Except for calling my coffee disgusting. <laughs> Did I? <laughs>
or did I not give the two of you very specific instructions and a very generous warning? We're leaving now. That's what you said last time. What part of go all the way back to wherever the hell you came from and don't come back was unclear? Hayden, run! I'll give you a 10 second head start. Thank you! Leaving, after all? Nuri! For what it's worth, I gave you a fair warning. You told on us? We can contemplate the stink of betrayal later! Move! If there's one sure shot thing I could tell you about Arabella, it's that the dictionary would be proud to list them as the definition of hospitality. Okay, I'm done crying now. For real this time. It's okay if you aren't. No, I'm fine. I mean, fine about crying. Not all the other stuff. Like, uh, you know what I mean. Yeah, I do. I just... It was all wrong, all of it. Valeria was mean, and the coffee was horrible, and Nuri betrayed us, and we didn't we didn't even get to meet the person that we were looking for, and... Slow down. I just don't understand what happened. I know what Nuri said, but... But who could have... Did someone come to Arabella after the writer left? I don't understand. I guess that could have happened. But people here don't travel. The entire reason Signed Venus matters is because the writer's the only one who ever did it. Then... Maybe there's another explanation? Um... Hayden, maybe the writer wasn't... honest about everything they wrote in Signed Venus. What on earth happened in Arabella? Thank you for listening to part one of Signed Venus. We can't stress enough how thrilled we are to have you with us on this journey, or how deeply we appreciate it. Signed Venus was created and written by Serena Rahal and Reese Patterson. Part one featured the voices of Ren as Hayden, Michael McKitt as Cameron, Jamie Kim as Nuri, Sherry McNeil as Cora, Emma Sherjarko as Captain Valeria, Serena Rahal as Mira, and Tasneem Rahal for the opening. Music and audio editing by Reese Patterson and Serena Rahal. Script editing by Alex Lynn. To support the production of Signed Venus Part 2, you can donate to our fundraiser at ko-fi.com slash signedvenus. That's K-O hyphen F-I dot com slash signedvenus. All one word. Thank you so much. To stay up to date with the latest Signed Venus news, follow us at Signed Venus on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and Tumblr. You can also sign up for email updates, learn more about the show, access episode and trailer transcripts, and find fun stuff like quizzes and playlists on our website at signedvenus.com. Finally, if you're looking for a good cause to support, we want to shout out Hometown Action. Hometown Action is an organization that provides support to small towns and communities in Alabama. Right now, Hometown Action has organized community care teams to help provide supplies, make masks, check in with vulnerable individuals for mental health support, and more in response to COVID-19. You can learn more and donate at their website, hometownaction.org. Your support would mean a lot to us. Thanks for riding with us for part one of Signed Venus. We'll see you on the road again soon.